Hey everyone, how you doing? Hope you're doing well on today. More drama, more war, more news. What we're speaking about today is shocking to say the least. Now, before we get into the video, I want to say this is a very touchy subject. I'll I'll be honest, I I have no opinions on this war other than that war equals bad. As lame and as small brained as that sound, any violence, any war is terrible and everyone on both sides suffer. However, the problem with modern day wars is everyone has an opinion and they can put their opinion on the internet for people to see. For example, Melissa Barrera. I probably fucked that up extremely badly, so apologies. But if you don't know who she is, she was in the latest uh, Scream, which I did see, which was fine. I mean, I wouldn't see it again, and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, but it was okay. It wasn't terrible. She went on social media and basically said that this war is a holocaust. She said, Gaza is currently being treated like a concentration camp, cornering everyone together with no one, with nowhere to go. No electricity, no water. People have learned nothing from our histories, and just like our histories, people are still silently watching it all happen. This is genocide and ethnic cleansing. Now, very large word. Big, big statement coming from someone. Of course, this has caused a lot of upset, I'm sure, in people. Not only the neutrals, shall we say, but also people on the opposite side. A well-known actress standing out for what is arguably seen as the enemy in this war. It's funny, isn't it? You have a good, you have a bad. You have the Empire versus the Rebels, you know, and in this case, you have Israel versus Gaza. Gaza obviously started this by attacking, however, it was the Hamas, who, who did that? Now, I, d I don't want to get into it because I, I, I'll be honest, it's very confusing and there's been wars in these places for years and years and years, different beliefs, different views on religion and this has come all toppled over, like shaking a bottle, adding Mentos to it, giving it a shake, throwing it at the floor and being shocked that it explodes. This has been going on for years and years and years. Now, Spyglass, who obviously are one of the, basically the company who, who, who behind it, who funded it, uh, made the film, their answer to me is shocking. Not that I think what she said was right, I don't think, I don't think it's wrong, but I don't think it's right. We have a zero tolerance for anti-Semitism or the incitement of hate in any form, including false references to genocide, ethnic cleansing, Holocaust distortion, or anything that flagrantly crosses the line into hate speech. I'm not sure what you guys thought. I didn't think there was anything hateful about it. Yes, this is genocide, ethnic cleansing, I think. Compared to the genocide I'm used to, which was obviously I'm used to, sounds like it happens every every day in my life, the genocide in World War II with Hitler gassing the Jewish people. Obviously, that was a very extreme. Millions died. This this is the start, she was basically saying, of have we not learned from our past? Killing these people, they're going to round them up and potentially do something similar. No proof of saying it. Now, you can't go on social media and preach this and expect nothing to happen. She has now been excluded from the next Scream film. Blessing in disguise. She will no longer be starring in Scream 7 as the act was dropped due to the social media post regarding the Israel-Hamas war. She's been posting things like this. At the end of the day, I'd rather be excluded for who I include than be included for who I exclude. Apologies I, I speak like a mong. I'm very illiterate and have not gone to school. Don't blame me, blame my parents. What do I think? The funny thing I saw was this. A truly evil statement. Just go over the statement. We have a zero tolerance for that. Blah, 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 blah. A truly evil statement. I'm sure this has nothing to do with Gary Barber, the CEO of Spyglass, being born and raised in apartheid South Africa. Something funny. It's all connected, as that gentleman just put. They are obviously all on the certain side of the Israeli people, shall we say. And don't get me wrong. I, 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 I'm not going to pretend like I have a side. You don't pick a side in a war, I don't think. I think that's wrong, but we should all agree that human life is precious and we shouldn't be bombing the shit out of kids and killing them. Pretty normal thing to think. Uh, if you think that's right and that these kids are in Hamas and deserve this, then I think there's something clearly fucked up with you. Again, something to think about the CEOs and the people who get the money from these businesses, where their loyalties lie, where maybe they have certain connections, certain outgoing, certain perspective on things because they know who they know from certain countries. Worth thinking about. What scares me about poor Melissa you know, I'm sure she's a lovely person who does not want to see kids being killed. A freak. Which is, uh, strangely enough, perfectly reasonable. However, how can businesses like this control your opinions? These corporations, Spyglass particularly, are basically saying, well, you have an opinion that we don't agree with, or we think that is the wrong opinion to us, so we're just going to get rid of you. You're gone. We're going to fire you, and it's over. Well, what about other actors who have opinions on this? What about other people who have opinions on this? Do you just exclude them? What about workers, uh, you know, from every level, from your cleaners up to your, your corporations? What happens to them? Is it because she posted it on social media, and they're saying, 
saying this is getting too much attraction. She's actually speaking her mind and having an opinion that is not what the media agrees with. So they are saying, well, we've got to shut her down. Let's fire her. Let's kick her off. I think so. It's very much Israel's the good guys and Palestinians are the bad guys. Again, war is not like this. Even the war in Ukraine versus Russia. Yes, Russia invaded them, which seems out of no reason, but there are reasons for all. Now, I'm not saying Russia are in the right. They're really not in the right, and I, I do believe they are. What started this whole problem in Ukraine? Obviously, they are. They invaded. However, there are always two sides to a story. One man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. My dad told me that when I was about 12, and it stuck with me forever. John Lennon said something similar. I think he might have even said it himself. The problem is, you are basically saying to the world that these guys are the good guys, and you are basically basically lying and saying that this genocide is going on and this mass killing. Well, it is. You know, something like 20,000 just under Palestinians have been killed. How many died in Israel? Not that many. You know, what? when does this end? Is their idea just to, right, we're just going to keep going, we'll mow them all down, destroy the whole place, and then they go have a, a, an option for revenge? It's ridiculous. And the problem is the media presence. The media has basically been saying, these. this is what you can speak about. The corporations who fund the media, who all have, you know, money, stocks, whatever it might be, give them gossip on stories. They're the ones who are shushing this and we are blind to it we are we have basically been clouded our opinions and views can only be what we're told none of us can really go to israel and see what's going on ourselves if you can not lucky you but go ahead and tell me and send me a letter because it's different you know everything we know about let's say everything we know about the wars going on around the world is due to the media if the media want us to think something if the corporations the big rich people at the top want us to think about a certain topic if they want us to think about a certain topic a certain way they pay them they get the media they they get the newspapers to say, twine this story this way, and that's how it is. If you go against that, they will have you shut down. Look at Russell Brand. Do you actually think he's a, uh, whatever it is they're accusing him of? Sexual misconduct? Being a, uh, an abuser? Personally, I don't. I think something very dodgy is going on with Russell Brand. He was speaking a lot of truths, one might say, and now he's paying the price. What's my opinion? I loved Russell Brand. He had a promiscuous background. He was a, a drug addict. He was a comedian. He said very outlandish things, and now he's toned himself back, but he still says these outlandish things and people don't like what he says. No different to then to now other than that he's not shooting heroin up his ass. Now he's saying things that make sense and the people who run the papers, run these corporations, don't like it. They give this business 500k, make up a story. By the way, it's funny how it's gone quiet, isn't it? What's happened with Russell Brand? There's no fucking evidence, that's why. If there was evidence, they would go straight to the police. All this was was a tarnishing of his reputation. This is what they're trying to do to Melissa now. They're trying to make her to be the bad guy. Okay, look at Melissa. She she said this nonsense, it's not true, it's fake news, blah, 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 blah. When actually what she said, yeah, she might have used some very strong terminology, but 19,000 people murdered, bombed, children killed, supplies cut off, no electricity, food and water. That's starting to me look like there's a very serious situation where these innocent civilians, it wasn't them who attacked them, they're taking it out on other people. That to me is not fair. You know, ISIS for example, it's like hating all Muslims because of ISIS, which some people do, which is wrong. That's not right thing to do, is it? So it's no different here. They're attacking all of Palestine because they think, well, they're all bad, evil, blah, blah, blah. When it's not true. You're attacking the innocent and people who have nothing to do with it. It's crazy. What's going to happen anyway? Screen 7, I'll be honest, I think every Scream actor, Jenny Ortega, she will drop out. She will say, I'm not doing it. That's the difference. I can promise you it's going to happen. Jenny Ortega right here, lovely girl. She's great in Wednesday. Same age as me. Hit me up. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. She is going to say, nah. She will just drop it. I can guarantee she won't do it. If she doesn't need Scream, she's bigger than this franchise will ever be. Scream is just drop dead. I can guarantee a few more actors will probably drop from the franchise and say, yeah, we're not, we're not doing this anymore because of the way the studio have treated her. I promise you, what you believe or what you know is only told to you by governments and media. What they want the story, the narrative to be, they tell you. I'm not some crackhead. I might be a bit deranged and a bit mentally unstable sometimes, but I promise you, these media outlets have a narrative and a story and the government want all around the world want you to believe a certain narrative and that story is not going to be changed, especially from an actor with a big, large following like her on social media posting things that don't agree with it, that will affect their bottom line, bottom money, whatever you want to call it. That is the problem here. You do not know what you know. They just tell you what you know. Watching the news every day is brainwashing us. It, you know, it's absolutely changing our society for the worse. We have no idea what the real world, what's going on anywhere. It's like being in the 1800s, you know, where you, you didn't know what was really going on. You might read a newspaper every so often and realise, oh, look, there's a war going on over there. It's like that these days. This is a very sensitive topic. I'm a stupid idiot, so I'm just expressing my thoughts, but it's something to think about these corporations who control the media and control the stories that they want you to believe and then shut people down and they say no that's wrong you can't say that we're firing you that's scary that is people controlling speech and free country free speech whatever you want to say is no longer existing and will no longer
longer exist as long as big corporations like Byglass, whoever they are, can control and say, no, we don't want that out there. You're not a part of us because you're wrong. When really, there's always two sides to a story. Whether you like it or not, whether one's good or bad, whether one's slightly good and slightly bad, there are always two sides. So let's not forget.